Bumblips, a journey through math and romance. Act 1, scene 1, the school. One day at school, Romeo asked Juliet a question. I always thought you were cooler than construction made using compass and ruler. I always thought you were as nice as the probability distribution of two dice. So now Juliet answer this proposition with as much exactness as a prime factorization. What is the probability that you will go to prom with me? Yes. Act 1, Scene 2, The Shop Madame, of dresses we have styled red, blue, and green. Of shoes we have styled four, from heels to flats on the floor. Of lipstick we only have two, but really either one will do. Juliet goes out to shop. Oh Romeo, none of these combinations work. Help me, don't sit there like a jerk. Oh Juliet, shopping is so dull. Oh I know, we can use the counting principle. Dresses there are three, times shoes there are four, times lipstick which there's a pair, and we've got twenty-four. Oh Romeo, you're so right. I'll choose this one for our prom night. Act 2, Scene 1, The Limo. In the limo, there are ten seats in a row. How we can seat ourselves, I must know. Oh, it is simple. No, let me take this one, Romeo. I am smart as well, you know. Each couple must sit as a pair, so there are not ten spots, but five to be fair. Treat each couple as one object. The first has from five spots to select. The next has four, then three, then two, until the last group only has one to choose. But we are not complete. Each couple itself has two ways to seat. Either the boy, then the girl, or the girl, then the boy. They can seat either way, whichever they enjoy. So two to the power of five, times five factorial at which we had arrived, gives a total of 3840 ways to seat ourselves. The number is so great. Quickly, let us pick one before we are too late. Act two, scene two, food. Come, Juliet, let's see what there's to eat. I'm exhausted, having danced on my feet. It seems they have four meats, chicken, pork, fish, and beef. There are ten of us here, so I just wondered, how many ways can ten dishes be ordered? Well, they can be all one meat, some fish, some chicken, some pork. We gotta solve this before we pick up a fork. I know a method of how to solve this, how to find the total ways to order pork, beef, chicken, and fish. Take three borders, which form a four set. We will be able to find what choices to get. We must distribute us ten throughout these four, and we can simplify this problem to something easier than before. We must arrange ten of us and three borders, making thirteen total items to order. First choose spots for the borders, doing thirteen choose three. Then just fill the rest with dots freely. The dots are all the same. It doesn't matter where they go. Using that fact, the answer we now know. Simply 13 choose 3, giving 286 possible ways to order 10 trays. Act 3, Scene 1, The Last Dance. Prom is almost over, so I shall play a song that is slow. Everyone pick a new partner, someone you do not know. Man or woman, the partner can be either one. But pick fast before the song is done. I must think how many ways this can be done. How many pairs can be made from 10 daughters and sons? From 10 we can choose 2 as the first pair. Now 8 we see remaining there. From 8 we can choose another 2, and like that we can continue. But alas, we have counted too much, because the order of the pairs can be as such, or as such, or as such. We must divide off the ways to permute the pairs. We divide by 5 factorial to make this fair, and we arrive at 945, a fine number. This will be a dance I'll be sure to remember. Act 3, Scene 2, Happily Ever After Romeo, this prom was divine. Mathematics, poetry, I had a great time. I concur, I had a magnificent night. And it's all because the math was right.